giant flying stick insects. Hello and welcome back to Jack's Mini Zoo and today we're going to be talking about these guys right Hello and welcome back to Jack's Mini Zoo and today we're going to be talking about these guys right here so this is a giant spiny stick insect or spiny leaf insect so this is a male he does look more like a stick insect but the females actually look more like leaf insects so they probably couldn't choose the name so they just picked both but today we're going to be talking about well I'm going to be showing you him flying so it's going to be all about this male flying so as you can see if I just pull his tail down a little bit this isn't hurting him you can see the wings on top right here so he uh, males actually do fly females don't I I guess the males fly because they need to find the females to breed but uh, females do not actually need males to breed. Males will find females to breed because they need other males. They need to carry on their gene, so will breed with the females to carry on their gene. But females are actually asexual, meaning they uh, can fertilize their eggs by themselves, and the eggs that they do fertilize by themselves will become female. So if a male breeds with a female, there will be a mixture of male and female eggs, but if a female does not breed with a male it will just be female eggs because it will be like clone cloning but so yeah so um well I'm gonna be showing you him flying so let's see if he if he'll go usually he'll just fly at any time there we go they have quite a large wingspan for such a small creature let me just get him back here he is. Uh, but I think it's just amazing how they how they do fly. Let's see if he'll fly again. Go on. There we go. So I would suggest um, letting your stick insect fly around once or twice a week because uh, it's just good for them to stretch their wings and um, just. Well, it's fun for you to watch them fly around as well. Make sure all the windows are closed and the doors are closed as well so they can't fly out and get injured by anything, especially if you've got dogs. Just make sure everything's safe. You're there in an enclosed room just because you just need a room big enough for them to uh, fly around. This enclosure, that's where they live. My, the male does have a little bit of room to fly around, but I still do like to get him out and just let him fly around as much as possible. I'm going to put some clips in of him flying around a bit more uh, right now. So thank you for watching Jack's Mini Zoo, uh, if you did enjoy the video uh, make sure to like and if you want to see more content like this uh, subscribe and hit the bell icon and I'll see you on the next one.